Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. In this video, I'm going to be taking my Honda CX500 to the local bike meet and see see what reactions I get. <laughs> not that I'm a show off or anything, but um, yeah, I just fancied it. It's not running 100%. It seems to be running on one cylinder when you're cruising. As soon as you open the throttle, it fires into life, like, and it kicks, kicks you in the back. But um, other than that, it's 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 perfect. I've had a ride on it before and it handles a dream. So this this video isn't the last episode in the series which will be 30. I'm going to do a special for this one so all I'm going to do with this one is just literally cruise down to the bike meet and just basically chat through the stuff I've done with the bike and the ideas that went into it. So yeah, enjoy. Um, as you can see it's it's when we, I finally got all me, me vlogging stuff all put into me helmet so yeah, quite good. So let's see, you should start for first time. No. I've took the baffles out, hence why it's a tad bit louder. So we'll see how it goes. It sounds a lot better without the baffles in. But anyway, let's go. Oh wait there, I know what I need to do. Before we do anything, we better just stick the fuel on. Don't want to be going down the road and all of a sudden have no fuel. Let's go. Oh. Oops, I've just whacked the hell. <laughs> oh, that bloody clothes prop. Right. Look right now there, look left. Let's go. Like I say, it's it's running quite it's running well, it's just when you're cruising at a steady speed high up, it seems to one cylinder, the right one, seems to cut out. So it's either carburation or Ignition, but I, th I think it's more carburation than anything else. But we'll see. Uh, I can't get over how this bike sounds, especially without the baffles in. It sounds nice. It's not too loud either, surprisingly. Definitely not too loud, but um, it's loud enough. People hear us. Let's see what we we'll get at the bike meet. Just warm her up a bit first. And she's only she's only 30 degrees. So yeah, um, the last 29 episodes of this project has been just ups and downs and everything. To be honest, the smallest problems have been the worst. The big ones are quite easy to deal with, but the small ones are the, the ones where the problems come into it, like mounting the exhausts and just little leaks here and there. Cause you the more setbacks, to be honest. But, um, it's just so nice to actually be on it after that. After the, the the time I've spent on it, eight months, eight months it's been. But she just drives great. Having having the Suzuki front end on, like I say, I hadn't ridden it before, so I can't really do a comparison between stock. But it's just so. You can point her into the corner; it just feels solid. If that makes sense, it doesn't. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, but um, it does feel good. Like so. It's starting to heat up now, so we should be able to give her a bit of a blast down the jill carriageway. So, the whole, like I say, there's, there's actually a theme to this bike, and it's been something I thought of right from the start, and I thought, right, that's what I'm going to do the theme as. You wouldn't recognise it to start with, but, um, yeah. So basically, I've got a black bike with the uh, metal flake, pearlescent metal flake, with the, the red racing stripes up. Now I've actually got three racing stripes, one big one and the two small ones either side. Now it's actually the black stripes in between that mean something, and the red does as well actually. Now, in this area, um, this um, the northeast and all around, were actually mining communities, nearly all of the villages around here had a colliery. And basically during the 60s all the way up to the, even as late as 2000s there was collieries. But um, they went all downhill, one of the big things being Marg Margaret Thatcher. Wah. Wah. It just pulls, like I say, sorry I got distracted there. When you open her up, it fires on both cylinders straight away and you get a bit of a kick. But yeah, um, this is the colliery calf. That, that's the official name of this bike. And it's basically just... Um, it's a memorial to basically just northeast industry, not just collieries. And um, yeah, so we've got the black, which is the coal, and basically as soon as you get it in the sunlight, it's got that little fleck in it, which just sets it off. We then have the red racing stripes. Now, the idea between this was the red actually depicts the blood. 
blood of any of the miners that actually died down the mine, the black lines in between are actually the the tracks that would go down the mine carrying the ore carts or the coal carts. So yeah, I thought that was quite good actually. Oh. Oh. Sorry, I'll go sign because this this I, I still haven't actually woke up and smelled the roses with this actually. It just phenomenal. But yeah, that's that's basically it. That's don't get me wrong, I, I'm not old enough to actually remember any mines. Um, I was born in 1991 and most of the mines had already shut. Um, the closest one to me would have been Saturson, that only shut a few years before I was born. But um, yeah, no mines left. Oh, and around here. I'm not going on the motorway, I've decided, so I'll go up here. It just bypasses the motorway. And just plaster up. an old-fashioned plumbing um, racer, if I'm honest, especially on the overrun. I'll just slow down to 30 here. And just little. I'd say, say when I'm cruising like this, it seems to drop a cylinder, but as soon as I put any throttle on, it picks it back up again. So, yeah. <coughs> Sorry about the cough. So, that, I, I've got a sneaky suspicion it's more carburation. I've still got to set the, f the actual synchronisation of the carbs, I know they're slightly out, but we'll see, we'll see. So yeah, the colliery calf, like I say, the 30th video, which is coming, will be just basically going through everything, basically showing the bike off, what it's about, what's gone into the bike, and so on and so forth. So hopefully that should be an interesting video. But yeah, it's just the, the devastation the mines actually had when they closed on all these villages basically unemployment rose and everything, people's livelihoods were just destroyed. And it wasn't just mines, it was the shipyards, it was the steel industry, like up in concert. It just all died and villages died with it. It was basically just houses for unemployed people. I still say if the mines were going now, we would have a heck of a lot of unemploy unemployment and actually have a bit more respect from the youngsters nowadays. Now I'm lucky, don't get me wrong, I've actually got a decent job as, the desi as a design engineer and uh, I'm over the moon that I have got that job, but uh, just to think what, would, what the jobs would be like if the mines were still going, and they can't say we're running out of coal reserves, we've got more than 600 years worth of coal sitting under our feet and there's just we just said no, we're not going to do it, it's not cost effective. We ship it in from Russia and all that, and that's more cost effective. Even though, technically, environmentally wise, it's actually worse. Yeah, but it's all comes down to money, not actually environmentally friendly stuff. So, you know, what are you going to do? But anyway, back to the bike. It is phenomenal. Oops, I've still got my indicator on. It's um, it all, th I think, three, uh, well, three. I've got three types of indicators on all of my bikes. Um, my Suzuki's got a press in one to cancel, so is my Yamaha. My A100's got a self-centre one, so you centre it yourself, but it's on the other on the other controller. And this is self-centre, but on the left controller. So I'm having to think, at least it's not the other side for changing gear. But I don't think I'm going to get into Italian bikes anytime soon. Oh, I just got around. See, you just chuck it in the corners, it just blooming. Oh, I think I haven't actually been on any rides, but I can say this is. I haven't even set it up properly. I can say this will be one of the better handling bikes of the lot that I've got. The A100 handles quite well actually for a 100cc bike, but it's light. Now we're going to be joining on to the dual carriageway with my little small mirror there to actually look up. So I don't like this. Don't like this bit at all because I don't have that much room. Now coming, now coming, now coming. Great. Right, it's now coming again, so we'll overtake him. Open it up. Aha! And we're there. Oh, it just goes worse with cardboard, cardboard, cardboard. Oh, it just goes, it's blowing phenomenal. I think I need a new helmet, this one doesn't fit us as well. I've lost a bit of weight and actually fit into my leathers without the presto popping since last year anyway. And it seems like me I've lost a bit of weight around my face because this helmet is not fitting like it should. But ah uh, well, I'm just going to the bike meet, so it's not really too, I'm not too worried about it now. I'm hoping I'm going the right way. I think it is anyway. Oops. 
I'm turning left again. Still not used to these bloody indicators. I want to see what the reaction is to this bike, because to be honest, this is the first time a masked crowd has seen this bike, so we'll just see how it goes. I'm not kidding you when it's unbaffled. It's not offensive either, to be honest. I'm more than happy just cruising along here. I've had some people say, oh, you'll get sick of it and all that, but don't get me wrong, it's actually quite quiet with the baffles in, but without, it's still quiet. Don't get me wrong, it's loud, but it's, it's quiet compared to other bikes I've heard. Oh. I'll just sit behind this van. I'm not a big fan of overtaking on this bit of road. I know there's a few people come off here. It's a big street, but um, a lot of people come fast the other way. And if you have a head on with a car, you basically, you're basically not going to get up from that, really. And I don't want to wreck my bike. So, yeah. So we're at 72 degrees now. A uh, good thing about these forks, they're actually wider than the stock CX forks. So you get more airflow through the rear jet, so it actually runs cooler. Drop down the box again. I'm still not 100% with the how this bike handles, and so I'm going very slow around corners. But we'll see. Oh. I'm going to the take this van, I think, in a second. He's going a bit slow. Let's pick a spot up here and we'll overtake him. This is going around the back. You could have got around taking that road, but I like this one. It's nice and twisty and it's got loads of roundabouts. You can hit the apex of and actually go quite quick. Even though I'm not going to go quite quick, if that makes sense. Drop down the box. Oh, it's just popping on the over on there. I don't know what this sounds like from afar, but it must sound quite nice. I'm surprised I'm going to have no doubt I'll get pulled for the coppers, but oh uh, well. Coppers will always pull you. I still think they've got a quarter from water bikes myself, but... Oh, this is all new. This wasn't here before. It's new houses, right, okay, this is going to confuse me. I think it's straight on here. I think it is anyway. Down the box, brake. Brakes are good on this as well, having like brakes for a 200 mile an hour superbike basically. On a old CX. We'll just overtake this guy. Bloody hell. It does go, it goes like fucking stick. Woo! Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Ah. And it's this roundabout up here. Now I don't know if this place is open at the moment. I haven't been so. Ah. Ah. There's bikes there, so I'm guessing I'm right. This will be one of the unique ones here tonight. This is my show-off bike, so you know. Ah, oh, this bloody thing sounds mental. Listen to it. This is going to be a showstopper, I think. Oh, listen to it. Now, a lot of people down here have got some nice bikes, but um, they're normally all super bikes, so let's we'll see what it is. This will be loud. I'm just going for a cup of tea, really. It's not as much as it would expect, but I will. Now, trying to get this into a turning circle could be fun. I'm going to go over there. I've decided. Yeah, I've decided. I'm going to go there. This thing has a bloody turning circle like the Titanic. Fucking hell. In the neutral. And we're there. Anyway, I'm going to go off and get a cup of tea, so I'll see you later.